So hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Byte 13, I think it is. This time we're finally going to split our code into modules so it is easier to maintain and easier to see and easier to develop, okay? So this is what we have right now. First of all, remember, you have to go to your crime game environment when you're launching JupyterLab, otherwise you will <laughs> be developing in the wrong place. And... Um, Open up byte 11. That's where we left it the last time. And this is where all the code is. You can see it here, all the bits and pieces to produce that output. Okay, so to split things into parts, we're going to go up one step and you're going to create a folder in here. We're going to call it, um, I don't know, crime game. Put always underscores between the spaces. I know this is exactly what you don't do in Power BI, but here when you're putting paths, otherwise it's a pain. So, crime game. And now we're going to create two folders. We're going to create one called assets, and we're going to create another one called modules. So here's where we will put all the modules, and here's where we'll put the database. So I'm going to go back here to my bytes, and where is my database? I think it's here. Copy move it to crime game assets. I'm going to paste it in there. Paste. And then on the modules, this is where we're going to create the different modules. So a module is basically a piece of code that you can then call in to do certain things. So for example, if you we go up here on byte 11, we don't need that one. This is, you're calling a file called SQL little that contains functions that you can then reuse. It's going to make more sense when we do it, so let's do it. I think it's difficult to explain with words. So we're going to actually create three modules. Now we're going to move away from Jupyter nodes and we're going to create Python files because this is going to be an executable program that you will put somewhere else, so it doesn't make a lot of sense to have continue having them in Jupyter nodes, I will continue developing in Jupyter nodes, but then when I move the code to the Python files. So if you go here to plus, you have here a Python file. The difference is, you know, the .py extension. We're going to call these, rename, database action. So here we're going to put, connect to a database, create tables, delete tables, all the things that you will need to do, all the actions that we need to take when working with the database. We're going to create a new Python file, and we're going to call these other actions, and this is all the other stuff, that, like the introduction and you know other things that we will do in the game that has nothing to do with the database. And then we're going to have another one, and here we're going to call it plot actions. You can obviously change the names to something that makes more sense to you. And in the plot actions, we're going to put in all the matplotlib graphs. So the map, the line chart, the bar chart, all the stuff that we did. Okay. And um, yeah, I think we start splitting the code. So for the database action, um, we look at the code. We have, this is get info from the database. So this is one that we need to move. We're going to copy and put it in there. Get all tables is also a database action. So we're going to copy paste it in there. And then we have this one too is a database action. So we're going to put it there. And these, let's see, maybe we can do it from the beginning and start moving them. So the intro and username is like these other actions, so other things that the program does. We're going to put it there. We've moved that one, we've moved that one. We're going to move now all the plot. So from here, plot, 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 plot bar chart, plot. not get help copy 
This is the other plot actions. And then we have other actions, database actions. Okay, so now we have moved all the functions that we created into a separate file. For these actions to work, we need to have the modules that run them. So in here for the database actions, we need to have time, SQL little and pandas. Don't worry if you don't, I mean, most of these things I, had, I figured out when I was running the program and I got into an error, it's like, oh, you know, it's missing pandas, so I put pandas in there. Because when you are doing this afterwards, it's very difficult to remember which um, which modules go with which, but when you're running the main program, it will tell you, so don't worry about that. So for plot actions, we need to have pandas, numpy, and matplotly, right? Another one that you are going to need, we are calling the database in here to be able to plot the things. So if you remember, we took a data frame and we're doing things with pandas. So this database action needs to be here too because it needs to connect to the database. So to import a module that you created, this database action we created, you do like this, do import. If you remember from the video of byte 12, they said that when you're importing modules, first you have the Python native modules and then you have a third party and the, the ones you created. So this is the one that we create, so that's why I'm putting it at the bottom. So you do import, and then you tell Python where this thing is, and it's in the modules folder. So you do modules, and then you do db action, db action dot pi, no, db action, and then you can either leave it like this, or you can give it a name, the same way as we've been doing here. So I give it actually a name, and I said DB action as DB. That means that every time we're going to call this module, we're going to call it use DB. That's what this means, like pandas as PD. When you do PD dot, you're calling the pandas module. So we have it like this. Now, we need to do one more thing, and is that when we're calling the database, we actually need to have the DB uh, prefix on. So let me see where they are. What we're going to do is we're going to look for a connection. There we have one, but I wanted to start from the beginning. So this is the first database connection. So what you do is you do db.con or we can do it like we did the last time, db.con. So what you're basically saying here is that this connection is a variable that comes from this module, from the module's db action, right? If you don't do this, or if you're getting a place, it's going to tell you, I cannot connect to the database. So you need to add the db to that. So we have one there, let's look for more, not that one. Not that one. Here we have another one, so that is replace. That we have already. I'm missing something. Line chart, I think I'm missing one. Bar chart, I'm missing the map, <laughs> okay. I was thinking like, we're missing something. You see, the entire map theme we haven't copied yet. So let's copy that. You can copy this in any order you like, but I think it's going to be better to copy it in the same order that we have it. And then here we have more connections, right? So let's grab them, replace, replace, that we have already, that I don't replace, no, no. Okay, so now we're good to go. Save. Um, other actions, okay, so now our, if we go back to our crime game folder, we're going to create a crime game file, main file, and we can call it, you can call it anything you like, let's call it main, main.py. And here, we need to start calling all the, um, let me first copy the code that we're going to have in here so we get an idea. So this is the part that will go onto the main file. This is the one that the user is going to execute. 
where is it mean there? A right of the path is the time sleep, so we need to do import time because that sleep comes from the time module. Uh, and now we need to import the DB action, the other actions, and the plot action. So we do import modules dot other actions as I think other I call it, and then import modules dot plot actions as plot import modules dot db actions as db so what this basically does again is it allows you to go to this file and get the code and execute the function that is in there so it will you will be able to the, get the database info and execute it here but so intro you need to actually this intro Python is not going to know what it means. No, sorry, not here. This intro here, Python is not going to know what it is unless you tell it that you have to go into other actions and look in there for this function. So what we do is we do plot.intro. So go into the plot module and execute intro. And the plot mod, wait, not plot. Go into the other module, this one, and execute intro. That's what it is. Okay. And then username is from the other module. Then we have uh, participant name comes from the other module. So we need to tell again this variable. You have to go to the other module and get look for it. And then we have get database info is db plot dot plot dot plot dot so for this function go to the plot module and the plot module is the modules plot action okay and now we're going to run it save it so how do you run something a python file in um, jupyter nodes i haven't showed you um, before so let's do it so we're going to go here and we're going to go to terminal and I'm going to, I'd like to split the window so I can see both. Um, so I can make this probably, control B will take it rid of the um, folder. And then here, you can see that if you call the terminal already on the file that you're on, it will take you there. Otherwise, you have to navigate there. And you navigate the same way as you do with a command file. So if you want to go back, into a folder, you do cd space dot dot, and it will go down a folder. But if you want to go up, you do cd, and then you call prime game. And that's why it's good not to have spaces, because otherwise you cannot just write like that. So now we are on crime game, and we're going to execute this file. To execute a Python file on the command line, you do python. I wish I had prime game without a capital letter, but okay. So you do python, python crime game dot pi, and it's telling us that there is an error. Um, let's see. No, it's called main, obviously. The, sorry, it's python main dot pi. It's, it was telling me that it couldn't find it, obviously. Um, no module name modules db actions. Mm -mm -mm. Is db action maybe? Db action, okay. <laughs> you see, it's going to tell you if you do something wrong, it's going to tell you. So don't worry too much about it. If you want to repeat the code that you just had on the command line, arrow up on the keyboard and then it will get to the last uh, thing you executed and then you can just run it again and hopefully you get no, no errors, we get no errors. But if you get errors, just read what the error says and do whatever it's telling you to do, it will tell you. So do you accept the challenge? Yes. What is your name? Ruth. Hi, welcome. Let's see if it plots everything. 
No, okay. And now we have another error. It's saying name plot geomap is not defined. Name plot geomap. Oh, you see? Dot. Save. Let's run this again. Python main.py and then do you save the terms? Yes. What is your name? Ruth. Um, and we let it run. And you see that it opens a matplotlib in a separate window. I haven't figured out how to put it in the window, <laughs> you know, if you know how to do it. But at the moment, it just pops it out in a separate window. If you close it, it will continue the program. So it's not stuck. It's just that it pops the window up. Here is the next. And then it pops the window up, and that's the next game. And then we're done. OK? So everything is working beautifully. So that's how you separate your Python code. And as you can see, the difference is massive. So if you look at it, you have now a main file. That's where the main instructions for the game will go. You have a place where you store your data sets. You have a place where you have all the different modules. And think about it, this database action module, you can re use it anywhere you like. OK, so you could have like your own database module, your own LinkedIn module or whatever it is that you're trying to do. And then here, yeah, again, the main one that with these actions and these imports go into the different modules and gets the data. So now when we're going to continue to develop further, we need to, you know, make decisions like should this be a module, should this be in the main program? And if we're adding a new database action, add it here instead. So now if we want to review the database, actions or if we change the database to something else we know where all the code is it's a lot easier to maintain i really like this module structure a lot it just makes things less messier than this thing okay so in the next videos we're going to build on the game again so we're going to start seeing some progress with the game and uh, let's see where that takes us, shall we? Okay, I will see you again on bye 14.